Wow. Look at that. Our breakfast is looking huge and hearty. This morning we are having some scrambled eggs with toasted bread. Eddie is having some pancakes. And the nice thing about it is that it came with maple syrup, peanut butter, and chocolate. So you have the options to spread it out all through your butter <laughs> and your pancakes. Our breakfast has arrived and yeah. uh, ano po uh, ate, the, oh this is Ate Alex yeah. spoke to you so cool yeah. and um uh, Shella and they served us delicious <laughs> breakfast. Very friendly service here. Yeah, definitely worth it. Each order is 120 pesos on the menu, so Go get them here at Roo's guest house. We're very happy here. We've been staying for three nights and we probably will extend for a fourth night just because it's so peaceful here. And if you walk one block there, that's where all the happenings are. So we have our little secret hiding place here. But if you want the nightlife, just walk there. Very, very convenient location. Are you happy? province Eddie is off to get our laundry done it is 80 pesos per kilo which is a little bit pricey we found another laundry which is 40 pesos per kilo but right now we just want to get our clothes fixed or laundry just because you know we don't want any stickeroos stinkeroos in our bags and and also today what day is it Malcolm? Friday the 13th Friday the 13th. If you're wondering what the history of Friday the 13th is, I think it's been popular because of Hollywood. All of these horror movies, like the one called Friday the 13th. But just Google that there. It goes back to all the way during the Norse myth, which is like the Viking myth. A smith? A Viking myth. Um, when they had 12 gods having a dinner party in Valhalla. And then Loki, thanks to Marvel, made it... Uh, well, made it a popular character. I didn't know who Loki was before Marvel. But anyway, Loki appears as a 13th guest, hence Friday the 13th. And yeah, made a lot of um, mischievous uh, happenings during their dinner party. So 13th is related to Loki because he's the 13th guest and he wasn't invited. And Friday, I don't know why. Friday, I'm in love. I'm saying goodbye to Eddie now because he's off to see the world while I meditate here and rest and hopefully get well with my sniffles. Enjoy your time out there. <laughs> I know, yeah, bao bawang. I had boy bawang, so yep. Well, that's Eddie gone, and um, I'm just gonna enjoy the afternoon meditating. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if the room is messy, but um, yeah, we're gonna extend one more night just because it's my birthday tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? The day after tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna meditate. I'll see you after my meditation. So, in the province, uh, we try to eat as much fresh fruits as we can because mangoes are so sweet here and if you don't have a knife to slice just peel the skin like this and then peel it like this and then start munching mm. I can't even tell you how sweet this is it's like eating candy it's so sweet it's like sugar I'm not sure if you can hear the roosters behind me but if you enjoy the sound of like roosters and karaoke from a distance that's what you'll hear in the afternoon it's a friday today so yeah for sure well actually 
It doesn't matter if it's Friday, there's karaoke every day. So when you're buying property in the province here in the Philippines, yeah, for sure you'll hear karaoke if you're not in a guarded community. If you're just, yeah, right behind me, there's a local there with a lot of roosters and I guess karaoke machines. Mm. And we are ready for day two of snorkeling. I'm borrowing Eddie's stop. I'm in shorts, which I'll remove later. Eddie's ready to go snorkeling like this. We're actually gonna have our tops on to minimize on sun damage, even if it doesn't look like super scorching sunny. That's the sun that kind of really gets to your skin. So we've also got our snorkel here. And from here on, I'm gonna say goodbye to you and start using my GoPro to town. Bye. The main reason most people visit Mualbual is because of the beautiful sardines that you'll be able to see just as you go snorkeling. I kid you not, the moment we started our snorkel, they were just below us and you don't have to go diving or swimming too deep just to be able to enjoy the view. I wanted to get a shot of what it looks like as you see us floating on the surface. The moment you look below, there they are, millions and millions of sardines just below. I don't think my camera will ever do justice. If you haven't experienced anything like this and you plan to visit the Philippines, I highly suggest that you put this on your top priority list. What you'll see is just absolutely magical. It is so majestic and breathtaking. Dinner time! We are gonna check out what's the happening here in Walbol. Yeah, hopefully we find some delicious food. Wasn't so happy about our Greek choice last night. It was delicious, but for the price and the quantity, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, the place is called My Greek Tavern. Um, it would have been okay, but the staff didn't. They didn't know about about their food. Um, but anyway, let's go check out Walbol and see. What's the happening? I might also have to add today is a Friday. So on our way back here after snorkeling, there were so many uh, people singing live bands and live music. Of course, we're in the Philippines, so that's kind of given. Let's go see what we're going to be having tonight. We were thinking of going to a place called Nomad. And there's some music there. If not, we might end up in a place called Smooth. They have good food, good coffee, good drinks. Let's go explore. just got to Nomad. We are so excited to order and I'm excited to try their food. Hi! I'm so lucky that we got to meet Nika. She is the owner and also the one who is managing Nomad <laughs> and she plays the ukulele so if you want to come over and enjoy some ukulele music or buy her paintings Yeah, we do have a lot of paintings paintings in the inside inside, yeah We got beef nachos, chicken, chicken quesadilla, and uh, some kind of uh, Indian curry. Indian curry, so let's chow. Our dinner was so satisfying, I'm really stuffed. But right now, we're gonna have some dessert over here at one of the local Sasari Sari store. We're gonna buy Cloud9 and Dynamite. 